Daniel, the, this second round match was more intense than probably many that you've played. Uh, Nick played at a very high level, so did you. Uh, how did you enjoy competing out here tonight? Yeah, you know, I, I, came, I came to win this match and I'm happy that I managed to do it. You sure did. <laughs> I, wanna, I wanna talk about the way you managed your emotions. You, you sometimes show more emotions than we saw tonight. You were incredibly calm and focused. Was that part of your strategy? coming out here dealing with what Nick and the crowd can bring to a, a night like this. Yeah, I mean, that's the only choice when, when you get booed between first and second serve. It's not easy, so you just had to stay calm and win the match. I know, I know. I think they're saying Sue, which is a soccer thing, a football thing. Sorry, I can't hear you. I'll try it again. I I, guys, I can't hear him, please. Uh, uh, show some respect for Jim Courier. He oh, won't no, hear, guys. Right. Thank okay. you. Let him speak, please, guys. If you respect somebody, at least respect Jim Courier. What I was saying is... I cannot hear him, guys. I'm, I'm going to come a little closer. What I think they've been saying is Sue, which is a, a thing that I think they say when Ronaldo scores a, a goal. So I think that's what's going on. I don't think they're booing you. I don't think they're booing you. I, I hope I'm right on that one. Yeah, but what I'm saying is that between first and second serve, it's not easy. I, I mean, understand. And I remember it was actually when uh, the games I lost on the break points, it was, it was the case and it's just tough to play. Well, let, let's get into the, the actual the match a little bit. After the third set, did you make any changes? What did you tell yourself after the third set to, uh, to finish this one off in four? You know, it was a funny match in a way because we both served big, so we just tried to return in the court at least, uh, even if it's a, a bad shot. Of course, it's better to try to make a good one. And yeah, I managed, uh, especially second and fourth set actually, the ones I won uh, without a tie break. Uh, I managed to return a little bit more uh, in a few crucial moments, and that was enough. But yeah, uh, these uh, this matches can get tight. Well, you're through it now, and you are the top seed remaining in the tournament. Your number two seed, are you in the type of... See, they do like you. They do. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> you, were, you were a finalist last year. You're now a major champion. Is your game ready to win the Australian Open? I think uh, the thing is that... Uh... The game is probably ready, but then you have tough opponents like Nick here. I mean, that's, uh, that's why we love tennis. Uh, any match, anything can happen. That's why we always have sensations, sometimes favorites win. So I just want to play my best, try to, to run good, to hit good shots, hit some winners, and uh, hopefully this can be enough to do something big. Well. Congratulations, Daniel. You certainly entertain. You are unique and authentic. I love watching you, and we get to do it again in a couple of days. Well done, Daniel. Thanks a lot, Jim. Thank you. One thing that this guy really is, is authentic.